Hello guys, Namaste. Welcome back to Android Tricks. I recently made a video on top 7 unique applications which are not there on the Play Store and I got a good response from you guys. I showed applications to stream music and download them. Also, I showed an application to get unlimited coins in the apps and the games which you play and a lot of other interesting applications. If you haven't watched that video out already, I'll link it down in the description box below so make sure you check that out after you are done with this video. So in this video again I'll show you 7 applications which are not there on the play store but are really unique and awesome. With that being said, let's get started with top 7 unique applications not there on the play store. The first step on my list is called Keynote and well it's not what it looks like. It's not a notes application but it's an app lock which is one of its kind and you'll know soon why is that. Let me open an app which is locked via the Keynote application, for instance this Facebook application. As you can see it instantly opens up without any hints of app lock but if you notice I'm not able to do anything. It's like there's a transparent layer between the fingers and the app which I am sure no one would get who is trying to access this application on your device and would directly close the application. But the trick here is that I have recorded a pattern on the volume buttons which I have to enter in order to erase that transparent layer which is not allowing me to use the application. I have set the pattern to be up, up, down, up. And as I just did it over here, I can now access this application. It's a beautiful application and if this doesn't blow your mind, I'm not sure what will. Anyway, moving on to the next application. Remember how there are Windows Launcher where you can make your app look like mobile Windows operating system? Keyword being mobile. This new application takes it to another level by actually making your phone similar to Windows desktop experience. I know of for a fact that no one will use it as their daily driver but well you can surprise me if you can use it for a long time or use it as your default launcher. You can check all the apps in the start menu and when you go to my computer you will see your internal storage which is, which is pretty kick ass. This is definitely one of the app which you won't use but have it on your phone to show off among your friends. The next step is not not on the play store application but I thought it actually deserves a shout out in this video because I've been playing it for a month now and it's really amazing. It's called Loco and it's India's first live trivia game show where you answer 10 questions based on the general knowledge and you win real prize money at the end of 10th question if you answer them correctly. I have been playing this for a while now and I literally won few rupees from this application. Well it's not for the money but for the fun that you get when you answer all the questions correctly and win something in return. Here's the leaderboard of the application and as you can see people have won thousands and thousands of rupees from this application. There's nothing to lose so you can definitely try this out from the link in the description box below and use my referral code which is Andrew Tricks, which will give you extra life. What this extra life does is that if you answer some question incorrectly you will still be in the game. So make sure you download it and use my referral code. Instagram app in itself is really great but there are still a lot of features and options which can be inculcated in the Instagram application and those shortcomings are covered up with this OG Instagram application. Along with the normal features which Instagram offers, this application also has the feature to directly download the images, videos posted by others, download their stories or share image directly to WhatsApp as well as zoom in on the images. There are tons of new features which you can get via this OG Instagram, the link is down in the description box below. Well I am damn sure that you are amazed by my wallpaper and are wondering how to get it on your device. It's a live wallpaper. If live wallpaper is not your thing then you can skip to this timestamp. But if you are still here, well it's really simple to get this on your device. I have added a link to download this GIF in the description box below. Just download it and use any app of your choice which allows you to set GIFs as your wallpaper. The simplest option is to download the loop wall and set the GIF which you have downloaded as your wallpaper. There are a bunch of options in the app itself which you can use if you do not want this one but want some unique live wallpaper. Coming to the next step on my list it is called File Chef and it has everything you need in this application. Like literally everything you need. 
the app interface is as simple as it can get as you can see it over here you just search for something and then select the category for instance i'll download dragon ball z which comes under tv shows and hit search now select your preferred browser for me it's always the chrome it will show you some result on your browser and you have to open the index of link and then download what you searched for from there here's the episode i downloaded using this application and it works perfectly fine the last app on my list is the modded google camera application which brings to the table a ton of features like portrait mode on phones which don't natively support it now the mod only works with select set of devices and the mod i am showing in this video has been tested on oneplus 3 3t 5 and 5t not only you will have to flash the AOSP ROM in order to use this application but you'll also need to play around with the BSG settings in the camera application to get the portrait modes working for you. And if you are able to do so, the results are outstanding. My friend Dhananjay Bhosle has made an in-depth video regarding the Google camera. i link it down for your reference and you can check there if your smartphone supports the Google modded camera application or not. Also thanks to Adnan for sending in these clips, I have linked his channel as well in the description box below. Do check him out, he is recently back on YouTube and has been uploading a lot of videos recently. So that's pretty much for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe for more awesome videos like this. As mentioned earlier, I have linked all the apps in the description box below. So. It's easy for you to download these applications and I have also mentioned a comment and pinned it so that it's easily clickable on the mobile devices. I'll also be reviewing the Pixel 2 in the coming week so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on my review of the Pixel 2. With that being said, I'll sign off. Bye.